Well, hello everyone. You've come through to Fantabulous Speaks, and as always, I'm Olivia Rose. So today, we're going to wrap up this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The tomfoolery, but really it was the Tom boringness of the reunion show. Boring! Okay. I don't know, was it me or did Kim need to get some training on how to work a stage? Because when she came to the, the bridge part of the song, FORGET ABOUT THE STRESS OF THE WEEK! It just got really weird for me. That's why I think Kendi got up on stage with Kim. Everybody wanted to help Kim, poor thing. She is so deaf. Don't be tardy for the party. Come on, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bitches. <laughs> Can I get a job application at Bahama Breeze? I mean, clearly, she is making bankroll. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about some, uh, no. you know, and you can. You know, Big Papa does not support me. <laughs> I wanted Kim to just, just hersh. I wanted her to hersh. What, I just got attacked. Would I just go and make out with somebody? Yeah. She talked entirely too much. The rest of them was quiet. You ever notice why I was so boring is because Nene was quiet. Hooker, hooker, hooker. We're done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything is wonderful. We're cordial. Yeah. We're cordial. So, this reunion, I just didn't understand it because all of the residual, you know, interviews and things that they had afterwards, you know, especially with Candy fighting on the phone, on air, with Nini, and then all the way up into Nini on Watch What Happens Live. I didn't understand why. I was just like, we're done. Yeah. So, I'm not going to sit here and try to piece apart what they had and what was going on because it was just too boring for me. But I'm going to do what they meant to say was. So these are my reenactments. Big Papa and I, I really don't know how to answer these questions the way that these bitches want me to answer the questions to be happy with them so they don't come over my house and beat me up because that girl Sheree threatened me and I believe it because that girl Nene, she put her hands around my neck and she was just oh, and choking me and you know, Kendi's a baby doll, she's a baby doll and you know, I just don't want to start fights with everybody so I'll just pick on Dwight. This bitch did not just sit here and talk about my penile implant. This bitch better not say nothing and stick to the plan. She just better sit her ass there and answer, because I will jump over this couch. She know I'm not playing. I will choke her. I bounce checks. It's okay. <sighs> I hate Lisa. <sighs> She's just such a copycat. Of course, she's wearing her ugly prom dress. I just love this blue under my eyes. I'm gonna bat my eyes. I really hate Nene. <sighs> Kim. <sighs> she's so stupid. She doesn't even know when she's kissing people. So what if I like to hang out with G.I. Jane Tanya? I know I look great on camera right now. I don't have a nose job. I mean, a boob job. Fly above all the haters. I, I fly above. <laughs> Dude, I so need a bump. Maybe I'll ask that Lisa girl to give me some on the break. These girls, these, these girls are not going to do this. All of my advertisings, they're not going to do this to me. No, no. These girls, no. Somebody flip a couch. Somebody hit somebody. Andy, throw something at one of the girls. Maybe they'll do something. They're not going to do this to me. No. Where's that Lisa's girl's purse? I don't even know why I have to stay for the seventh hour if I'm not even doing anybody's hair. I mean, it's not like they're messing anything up. They're just sitting there. I wonder if that's Lisa's coat they have over there. Lisa's cocaine is not even all that great. 
I don't know why they're all getting excited about it. I totally have a dealer that's better. And if I have to stay here for another five hours just to put some more lip gloss on Kim's lips, I'm going to just croak over. Why does Sheree make me put that blue line under her eyes? It looks so stupid. Kim, if you don't just sit your wiggy ass down and just answer the question the way I'm asking you to answer, just answer the question. Sitting here trying to be buck with me. I'm SVP. I'm SVP. Get buck with me? Sit your ass down. Just sit up. Nene, you better just give me something. You gave me so much last year. I'm not losing my job. I'm not losing my job. I'm not losing my job. Just they can't do this to me because I'm just they can't do this. We're going to have to replace new girls next year. New girls. New girls next year. I so need to relax. Lisa. Break. Hook me up, okay? Are they going in my bag? I am not broke! My dress doesn't look like a prom dress. <laughs> Everything that they say about Kim is so funny and I just hope they stay off of me. I am not broke! It's okay, people downsize all the time. Are they going in my bag? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to talk to you about a couple of the things that I thought were like, hmm, moments. And it's really going to be a one, two, and three. Hallelujah. Holler back. So, one, did Kim forget who the hell she was talking to? She was talking to my man, Andy Cohen. Andy was looking at her like, like, I am SVP of programming. Have you not known? So, everyone, I think that's all I have. I tried to pull as much as I could because we all know this was a snooze fest. And it was as much as I could pull. But I hope you had a great time. Um, <clears throat> I will be vlogging about other things other than just the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it just kept so much of my time. And it brought me so much joy until the last two episodes but anyway i may do shows or i may just just vlog about stuff that i like to talk about so please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um if you haven't rated please rate and please i love your comments and i'd rather you leave me comments than send me messages in my inbox keep on sending messages in my inbox after i done told you i done told you but anyway, let's just break, break them up. So, love, peace, and as always, coconut oil. Peace.